Welcome back. The other day I did a video on why you shouldn't sacrifice your own happiness. Today I'm reading AA Daily Reflections for 26 April. Happiness is not the point. Ready to go? Let's get it. I don't think happiness or unhappiness is the point. How do we meet the problems we face? How do we best learn from and transmit what we have learned to others? If they would receive the knowledge. As Bill sees it, page 306. And if you want to see today's daily reflections, go to alcoholicsanonymous.org and click on daily reflections. You'll be able to see them for every single day of the year. My search to be happy. I changed jobs, married, divorced, took geographical cures, and ran myself into debt financially, emotionally, and spiritually. In AA, I am learning to grow up. Instead of demanding that people, places, and things make me happy, I can ask God for self-acceptance. When a problem overwhelms me, AA's 12 steps will help me to grow through the pain. The knowledge I gain can be a gift to others who suffer from the same problem. As Bill said, when pain comes, we are expected to learn from it willingly and help others to learn. When happiness comes, we accept it as a gift and thank God for it. As Bill sees it, page 306 once again. If Alcoholics Anonymous is not your thing and going through the daily reflections is not part of your daily routine, think about some of the information I just put out, some of the knowledge from other alcoholics actually who wrote the daily reflections of Alcoholics Anonymous and how they perceive it. The other day my video had a whole lot to do with don't sacrifice your own happiness for the benefit of someone else. Now I still hold that in truth. If I'm able to take lessons from the hard times in my life and I'm able to pass those lessons off to you, it's not really being happy or unhappy that matters. It's did I learn from the experiences that I have and are, am I able to pass them on to people like you in order for maybe you to use it to your benefit and learn from the experiences that I have had and perhaps they can apply in your own life as well. I know I spun that up just a little bit because it is a contradictory statement. Happiness and unhappiness doesn't matter. It's not the point. When does it matter? Well, if I go day to day and I go through my 24 hours learning something new about myself, either spiritually or emotionally, then I am able to be of use for someone else. If later in the future, I'm able to afford that car without a problem that I spoke about in that last video, and I'm able to do things in my life that bring me happiness without actually having to seek it out, doing harmful things such as like trying to move all over the place to run from my problems, you know, getting a divorce just because it's easier than dealing with the marriage, getting married just because I don't want to be alone. All these things that people do for instant gratification or, you know, long-term gratification, depending on what your situation is, is kind of the same behavior that we acted out as, and I can speak for myself only, that I acted out as in my active alcoholism, as well as many other episodes in my life to where instant gratification was the key. If that makes any sense for you, drop your comments below so someone else can get some of that. And I'm going to wrap this up, but I wanted to read something because I thought it was interesting. You can disagree with it if you want to. Just put a comment below so I can understand why. In my search to be happy, I've changed jobs. I got married. I got divorced. Took geographical cures. Ran myself into debt. In AA, Alcoholics Anonymous, I'm learning to grow up. Bam! That is the key, folks. I'm learning to grow up. Whether it's in a 12-step program of recovery, whether it's in spiritual growth or religion that brings you comfort in your journey in recovery, if you're able to mature in the way that you think and the way that you process problems and the coping skills that you've gained through the experience of those problems, you're able to share that with somebody else. Not only that, folks, growing up has a lot to do with how you handle any future triggers that you might run into that could lead you back on a relapse 
towards alcohol or drugs or whatever your addiction is or whatever the thing is that is bringing you problems within your life. For me, I have grown tremendously in my recovery. I don't respond to problems by running away from them like I used to. I don't respond to fear of people by trying to hide. Matter of fact, I am out in the open more now than I ever was in my lifetime. And that is in part to growing up through my 12 step recovery program that I work and being able to sit with myself comfortably. If that makes sense, just like always, put a comment below so someone else can get some of that. Growth is key, folks. If we stay stagnant, then we are doomed to repeat our own history. Being happy and unhappy repeated is not the point. It is, are you growing in your recovery? And when those things that do happen that will bring you happiness, just be grateful and get through that next 24 hours without a drink or drug, folks, and be able to recognize a gift of happiness when it's actually given to you. Don't take advantage of it. Enjoy it. Thrive in your life. Thrive in your recovery. Life is a garden, folks. Dig it. And if this video has made any sense for you, consider subscribing if you haven't already. I'll see you guys in the next one.